Hello everybody, I hope you are well. Now in today's video, Cameron Hurst Shifu takes me through um, the thing that makes praying mantis kung fu different from other styles of, of Shaolin based kung fu, the mantis claw. Now, I guess anyone that's got any background in martial arts thinks they kind of know what the, the mantis hand looks like and you know we've all seen films but when it's actually explained to you and you experience it there's so much more to it this is very very interesting i, I love this session we did together we also go on and look at uh, circular training which is uh, kind of sticking hands and the drill we did was so much like an old uh, ikkyo partner drill that we used to use as a warm-up so um, it, it's made me think we should re-include that in our training now that I've got a, a slightly different viewpoint on it. At one point during this session, uh, Cameron showed me this little trick where he flicks his hand into the, the mantis claw and makes a click. He's got so much strength and, and speed in his hand, he can actually make it snap like clicking your fingers, which I found astonishing. Really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, of course, please smash that like button, hit the little bell notification. It really does help support the channel. And of course, enjoy the clip. Obviously being mantis kung fu, people want to learn about the praying mantis within the kung fu. So what we really take from the mantis insect is the way it uses its forearms if he was to attack me, I'm going to use my forearms essentially to then grab. And this is where the mantis hand comes in. So the mantis hand, we're using those three fingers to press against the base of the palm. And this front finger is just loose and we're, we're pressing also with the thumb against these fingers. And you also want to make sure you've got some flexion in the wrist. Okay, so a good, a good way to practice the soft and the hard is to see if you can clap it, make that sound, okay, because you're using the force to, to grab. So it takes some practice there. Yeah, so that's just a fun thing that you can practice at home. You wouldn't normally spend a lot of time in class doing it, but it teaches you to, to be strong, but also relaxed in the wrist, which is important. So the core concept of really what is mantis comes from the idea of the mantis catching the cicada. Okay. And that position is our tiger riding stance with two mantis grabs. Okay. So we're grabbing here. And this position, if I'm using this hand, is this position here, okay? So when you see Prey Mantis and you see this position, this is what I'm doing, I'm grabbing his hand and I use that to, to pull and attack. And normally we're gonna attack with the rear hand so that I can grab and come in here. So just try that position. Yep, so you wanna be in your tiger riding stance, so 90% of the weight on your back foot, 10% on the front, Yep, and then think about the position of where my arm's going to be. Yep, so you're just grabbing, you're actually using those fingers to grab. Oh, so actually making it You're stuff. actually grabbing. Okay, so it's not, not, not a hook. It's not just hooking. I'm just, I'm actually using it. Okay, yep. So. You're going to use the forearm to basically deflect to allow you to grab and hook. Oh, okay. So there's... there's... Yep. And a back hip connection? You want to, yeah, you want to bring that weight. That's you've got the 90% of the weight on the back foot, so you want to bring that weight in. And you want to also be careful of the elbow. So that's part of the sensitivity. So when I have your arm, if I have this arm, if I'm pulling and I feel that you're starting to bring your elbow in, then I'm gonna go into a different technique. Okay? Yep. What you also might want to do from here, my forearm is going to be just at his elbow position so I'm actually using a push and a pull here so it's this this force when I'm grabbing him okay so if I'm in my position I'm here I'm ready for his reaction to my grab okay and what we would normally do to get a feel for this is just to go into circular techniques 
that's normally how we train our basic actions. So something like in a horse stance, if we're in horse stance, obviously we're not going to fight like this. But if I'm punching, you're going to do a double grab and you're going to punch me with the rear hand. Now from here, I have a few options. The easiest one is I just use that same hand and I come here. Then you use that same hand, grab and punch. And I'm going to follow you. And this is where we start to get into the, the sticking and the following. So you're punching, you're guiding it away. Here, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's it, you're punching, and I'm just using that, going with it. There. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, old habits. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then you're punching with the rear hand, and I'm just, once I feel that he's attacking me, then I can start to divert it away. And this is called a dial shell, the same way that you would divert a car. So uh, in Chinese, we say diao tol means to do a U-turn in a car, which means turn, turn the head. So diao shell is to redirect. So it's a redirecting hand. And I'm coming here, and then I'm punching here. And I might want to, if I find myself in an awkward position when he punches, or he's got a good strong grab on this hand, I'm going to come to the inside and then he can go. So this is this is a, a circular flow drill. Give it a <laughs> yeah. This is a circular flow drill. Oh. We, we do have a grab with the thumb from that comes from the eagle claw. And for that, we're going to essentially use the thumb and the fingers to slide down right over the wrist. So we're, we're preventing his, him from using his wrist to then redirect his elbow and then we can go into some sort of lock or something. But that's another component that we've combined into the Mantis, hence Mantis being a hybrid yeah. system. So that's, that's one of our first circular drills that we do and we're going to work both ways. So we're going to work the same side, which we were doing, and then we're going to change to the other side. And it's a good way just to build up some feeling for when to redirect the attack, when to grab, and understanding how much pulling is going to pull him off balance. Because in a circular drill, the idea is to keep going. Of course, in a real, um, more kind of sparring situation, you're not going to be so gentle, and you're not going to allow the the partner to then follow up. So it's about working with your partner for these drills and understanding what's going on.